Hello and welcome to another episode of Historical Churches here on SAR Histories where on the channel today we will be visiting the Church of St John the Baptist, Stokesay. The Doomsday Book of 1086 records a settlement at Stokesay. The entry includes references to a mill and a miller and a rare entry for Shropshire, a beekeeper. However, there is no mention of a church. There is manuscript evidence for a church here in the 12th century and fabric from this early building is still clearly evident in the Norman South doorway. During the Civil War, the church was very badly damaged, perhaps to the point of being nearly demolished. Indeed, the Hereford Register of 1635-67 to describes the church as being burnt down in the late calamitous time, an event described locally as fire and smoke say the bells of Stoke. Within the church there are no surviving medieval furnishings but tantalising early 19th century documentary references are made to the chancel divided from the body by a screen of carved oak. The font is situated at the north side of the west end of the nave. It is smaller than most medieval fonts and may predate the 17th century rebuilding. Following the 17th century rebuilding, no stained glass seems to have been installed until the end of the 19th century. The graveyard is as equally interesting as the church, with many old headstones, most of which are difficult to read. The earliest of the monuments was placed unusually on the external south wall of the chancel. This was probably in recognition of the local status of the family of Alice and Henry Barr who died in 1662 and 1665. The date of the monument strongly suggests that it was erected when the chancel was reinstated. Near this monument is the altar tomb of Thomas Philip Barr who died in 1757. There are also two fine chest tombs. Several of the monuments in the graveyard have Celtic crosses, a reminder of how close Shropshire is to Wales. The War Memorial is similar to Old Bill created by the war artist Bruce Barnes' father. It was moved here in 1956 when the crossroads in the centre of Craven Arms was widened. If you have enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time for more historical churches. Until then, goodbye.